I have been waiting for you, Grizzly One Kenobi. The circle is complete. First, I was the pupil. Now, I am the master. Only a master of evil, Darth. Oh, oh, Obi-Wan. Be, be quiet, Princess Leia. This is Grizzly One Kenobi. You two are too. No, Chewbacca. Oh, uh, hello, Internet. Um, oh, these. Um, <sighs> I'm sure if any of you know me, then you'll know I'm a big fan of the, uh, of the bow quiver. And that's what we're going to have a little talk about today. Now, I've always adopted the same sort of uh, approach to archery as my dad does towards fishing. Um, very simple, very minimal, uh, very unencumbered, just, just keeping things as simple as possible, which is why I, I love the bow quiver. Now, this, this is my bow, uh, for example. Uh, I've just got my, my bow quiver, uh, arrows, and uh, arm guard and glove all, all tied together. And if anyone says, hey, let's go shooting, that, that's what I grab. I just grab that, and I, I'm good to go, and that's got everything. That's everything I need. Um, back quivers are great. I mean, they look absolutely fantastic. Um, but I just, I just find them, you know, I just, I, I just like to be free when I'm out there shooting. And uh, anything sort of around my waist or on my back, I just, I just find a little bit clumsy. So that, that's why I really like the bow quiver. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the, you see the guys on the on the 3D courses with these huge uh, utility belts with all sorts of bits and bobs hanging off them. And I absolutely love it if I'm shooting with, uh, with one of those guys. I've, I've got a friend called Rob who, uh, who I shoot with. Uh, he's got a utility belt. He's got absolutely everything you could possibly need hanging off his belt, and it's, it's fantastic. Unfortunately, it's not for me. I, I, I just, it's a bit, too, a bit too clumsy for my liking, so I like to keep things simple. But anyway, before we start uh, looking at how to put a, a bow quiver onto the bow, we need to look at where we're going to put it on the bow, because that does make a difference. So if we look down here on this, this cotton mouth, you can see these, uh, these two points in the bow here. Uh, they're called the fade. Now what we're wanting to do is make sure that uh, the bow quiver is as close to the inside of these fades as we can get it, because the further out we go onto the limb, the more it's going to affect the bow. Um, the further out, it's going to slow the limb down. It's, the bow's not going to perform as it should. But if it's, uh, if it's on the inside of these fades, it really shouldn't affect the bow at all. Yes, it might add a little bit of dampening, uh, and it is going to cause the bow to lean over slightly, because you're obviously putting a lot of weight onto one side of the bow. I, however, as we've discussed before, cant the bow anyway, so that's not a huge issue for me. So what, we, what we're looking to do is put them as close to the insides of these fades as we possibly can to, to minimise the effect uh, that the bow quiver will have on the bow, because we still want the bow to shoot the same as it would without the bow quiver, that's the goal. So, we've got the bow quiver here. Now there are different types of bow quiver. Um, there's a, there's a bolt-on, there's slide-ons, um, there's ones that go in the, in the limb bolts if it's a takedown. But the one we're going to be looking at, and probably the most common, is the, uh, the strap-on, which uh, we have uh, here, <laughs> which uh, um, is probably, like I say, probably the most common. You've got uh, two bits of uh, sort of quite dense rubber there with a, with a rubber strap. But a little tip um, for uh, fitting a, a strap on bow quiver, because these can be quite stiff. If you get yourself a nice cup of uh, uh, boiling water, uh, if you dunk your, your bow quiver into the, uh, the, the boiling water um, and leave it in there just for a, just a couple of seconds, it just loosens up the rubber and it makes it a little bit more pliable. So it fits onto the limb that little bit better. So uh, we'll do that should be ordinary. I'd leave it in there for a bit longer, but just for the sake of the video, we'll pull it out sooner. So that's uh, that's that's softened that up a little bit. So that should be a little bit easier to to slide on. So you slide it onto the limb, and you want to try and pull it down as 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 low as it can possibly go. So you get a little bit of that fade through the top. If you can see a little bit of that fade on the top of the bow quiver, then it's kind of in the right position. So you want to get that nice and secure. Then make sure you get that strap on and pull it around nice and tight and just uh, clip it on top of that little peg there. Now that is on there good and tight now and that's, uh, that's right about where you want the bow quiver. You can see a little bit of the fade sticking up uh, from the top there and that's 
that's an ideal position. That's not going to affect the limb. That's going to let the bow do what it needs to do and uh, stay nice and secure in place. And it's exactly the same with the gripper. Now there is a, an up, up and a down to the gripper. Um, if you've got your gripper on that way, generally it's, it's the wrong way around. You want it so that the grip is at the bottom rather than the top. Um, but I have seen people completely reverse it. People put the hood at the bottom uh, of the bow and the gripper at the top. Horses for courses, if it works for you, do it one way. If it works, if it doesn't, do it another way. That's what I always generally uh, try and tell people. So we'll do the same thing with that. We'll drop, uh, we'll drop that in that warm water just to try and supple up those pegs a little bit. And then we'll try and stick it onto the, uh, onto the bottom limb. So there we go, that's been in there a bit. So let's slide that onto the bottom part of the limb there. We're getting a little bit of fade coming through. There we go, yeah, so we've got just a little bit of fade, fade showing on the bottom limb, and it's just a case of wrapping that, uh, that strap around. Now, obviously, the, the tighter you can get it, the better. Now, because you've made these a little bit more supple because you've put them in warm water, um, they fit on a little bit easier, and then as they cool down, they tend to get a little bit tighter, so they get even snugger. Yet the last thing you want is, is your... Uh, is your, is your quiver coming loose and uh, sliding up the limb when you're on a day shooting. So that's in there. Uh, you've got this foam hood at the top. Primarily, what that's for is to protect you, because it's, it's a hunting thing, really. Let's not, let's not sort of uh, escape the fact that it, that it is primarily a, a hunting tool. So what, what, what that big bit of foam would be there for would be to protect your hand from the, uh, from the broadheads, so the broadheads are secured away, so you're not going to gore yourself. On a, on a broad head while you're out in the woods. But uh, what, uh, what we tend to use them for over here is uh, you drop your, uh, your arrow into the hood, push it in there nice and tight, and then clip your arrow onto the gripper. Fill that up with six arrows. I personally like a, a five arrow bow quiver. I think six looks a bit, uh, a bit busy. But there we go, yeah, you've got your, uh, your arrows and your bow quiver, you're ready for a day shooting in the woods or wherever. And uh, yeah, but that's about it. But what... Uh, that's about it. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. Um, I mean, what I tend to do is just, like I say, I like to keep things nice and um, nice and simple when I'm out uh, in the woods. So yeah, if you can, uh, if you can just enjoy yourself, then that's that's fine. Mm. How the arrow gets from here to there, uh, and we'll just look at what I do. To, to do that process really. Now we're going to try and break it down and the first step it's what I like to do when I come up to a shop is it's all about uh, mental preparation. 